Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Exploring Hogwarts Legacy. Today I wanted to do a quick walkthrough and run through every classroom in Hogwarts in the Hogwarts Legacy version of the castle. Um, if you're unfamiliar with how Hogwarts is set up, let me pull up the map here. So Hogwarts, this is based on the film model. And the castle is basically separated into two major sections. I mean, you could split it into four sections, you could split it into two sections. Right now, I want to see where my cursor is. This is going to divide the castle into the north side and the south side. Now, on the south side of the castle, um, at least in the Hogwarts Legacy version, is going to be what I call the hospitality side. So you're going to have things like the Great Hall, um, the Quad, all of kind of the the common rooms are based in the southern section of the castle whereas all of the classrooms all of the learning side is going to be more towards this northern area of the castle so we are going to avoid pretty much the entire southern section we're starting in it right now but we are going to walk across from what i've been calling kind of gryffindor hall or more specifically the suspension bridge entrance chamber and cross this suspension bridge into that northern half of the castle. Now we are going to the Defense Against the Dark Arts side of the castle, or I guess they're calling it in the game the Hall of Herodi or Hall of Herodiana. Sorry for my hesitation there. Um, but you walk in here, this is something, if you've seen all of my other uh, videos of exploring Hogwarts Legacy, you're familiar with this Defense Against the Dark Arts section of the castle. We're going to go down a couple levels here and the first classroom we're going to go to is the Defense Against the Dark Arts classroom. That is kind of the closest we get um, from our entrance off of the suspension bridge. It's the same as you see in the movie starting in Chamber of Secrets. Uh, it's got the skeleton in the ceiling. This is, of course, where all of Harry's Defense Against the Dark Arts classes take place. Uh, we do see a different classroom in the uh, so uh, excuse me, Sorcerer's Stone movie uh, with Quirrell. And then the office up here that we see Gilderoy Lockhart and Lupin and Mad-Eye Moody and Dolores Umbridge specifically uh, having their office space within. From here, the closest classroom then is going to be uh, the Magical Theory classroom. Now this is going to be on the other side. So we're going to cross kind of diagonally. There's two staircases uh, in this section of the castle and we're going to cross diagonally all the way over to the s other side staircase and work our way upwards. So this staircase is going to take you to all of the other classrooms in this section of the castle. We're going to avoid that quest right now and continue up until you see this landing. One more set of stairs here. Until you see the landing with the tapestries. Now the landing with the tapestries, uh, before we go up any further, we're going to go in here and the only thing other than bathrooms in this section, there's a little balcony um, and like I said, a double set of bathrooms there, but this is going to be the Magical Theory Classroom. In this game, it's taught by Professor Fig. Um, I'm not actually sure if we know during Harry's time who the Magical Theory teacher is, uh, but this is what it looks like. It's kind of the reverse, a smaller version of the Defense Against the Dark Arts Classroom, very similar in design. And we're gonna go up here and check out Professor Fig's office. Very similar, you go up a set of stairs, uh, a little less round than the Defense Against the Dark Arts classroom. Um, ooh, is that a Demiguise Moon? I'm going to steal that one. And we go back out here. Here's one more look at the Magical Theory classroom. Now we're going to go back out here. There's nothing more in this section of the castle. Just like I said, tapestries. Um, and paintings and these bathrooms here. So we go back to that staircase we entered and continue our way up. There's two more classrooms in the Defense Against the Dark Arts section of the castle. The first one being the Charms classroom right off the top as you get to the top of this section here. You're going to take a left and this is the Charms classroom which during Harry Potter's years is of course taught by Professor Flitwick. In this game I believe it's Professor Ronan. Um, he's a, a Middle Eastern looking wizard. Uh, but here's a look. This is, of course, where in the Sorcerer's Stone movie, uh, we see Ron and Hermione bicker over the Wingardium Leviosa spell. Uh, and then there's, of course, up here, 
the office for the charms professor. This is Professor Ronan's office, so yes, that is his name here. Then another spiral staircase will lead you to the roof, and the roof has a cool little section. We've explored it before, but now since I have access to all locks in this game, let's check it out. This is the Dark Tower, where in the Prisoner of Azkaban movie, uh, Sirius Black is imprisoned, and Ron, or excuse me, and Harry and Hermione uh, break him out by using the Bombarda spell. We have opened it with the Alohomora lock. There's a chest in here. And back here, just a little more storage unit. So this operates as kind of a pseudo prison cell apart from the dungeons. And we'll work our way back down to one more classroom in the defense against the dark arts section of the castle. That being the astronomy tower. Back out into the charms classroom. All the way down. There is this little landing here, which is kind of a study area for the astronomy tower. One thing that I've mentioned in past videos, this window is visible from the outside, which is a cool addition. Uh, not all video games are as uh, concise with the design of the exterior of buildings as they are with the interior of buildings. Uh, I like that they've added that element too. I just want to double check this closet here. Um, this is, I believe, the astronomy teacher's office slash bedroom space. So we're going to work our way up. It's a kind of a long hike, so bear with me. I do apologize for any dizziness you may be experiencing uh, as a result of all of these spiral staircases. This is a cool addition to the castle. There's Peeves, by the way. That's Peeves sliding down the staircase and out of sight. Um, we see this kind of virtual, not virtual because it's magic, but uh, this galaxy that just kind of sits in the ceiling. You can kind of see it. It's it you're better better able to kind of comprehend what you're seeing when you're playing the video game and you have the access to change your perspective. Um, but very cool astronomy addition there. We have a lower level of the astronomy tower that we'll get to, but first we walk by the room of requirement here. Uh, that is the entrance of the room of requirement at the kind of, not the top, but very close to the top of the astronomy tower. This is going to be, well, that's nearly headless Nick. Hello there. Uh, we go up even more stairs. Like I said, it's a very tall tower. Uh, and then at the base of it, before we go all the way up to the top of the astronomy tower, we have the astronomy classroom itself, which we have seen in a previous video as well. And then all the way up to kind of the more experimental section, uh, the more hands-on section of the astronomy tower, that of course being the top of the tower itself. Yet another staircase. The bottom level, uh, this is just a landing. We're still not at the bottom level of the astronomy tower here. This is going to be the bottom level. You kind of have a, a singular telescope that looks out over the castle here. There's a look at the southern section of the castle. And then all the way up to the very top, the tallest tower in Hogwarts, the astronomy tower here. This is, of course, where Dumbledore is killed by Snape. We have a lower section here that we've checked out in a previous video, just where Harry hides uh, in the film version. And I can't remember if he's down there in the books. I do know for a fact uh, the situation's different. He gets hit with the P Petrificus Totalis charm uh, by Dumbledore under his invisibility cloak, excuse me, um, and he's unable to move, but I can't remember where exactly that takes place. I would transport down to make it quicker, but I do want to show you kind of some coherency between the classrooms. So if we were to go to astronomy and then uh, leave astronomy, our next class, the closest class would be transfiguration. So we go all the way back down several flights of stairs here, past the room of requirement at the bottom of this staircase here. Continuing down the stairs to the base of the astronomy tower where we have that study area and the charms classroom. And then back out into the defense against the dark arts stairwell where we will go all the way down to the bottom and go out into the transfiguration courtyard. So that's all the classrooms. There's four of them in the defense against the dark arts tower specifically and if we go all the way down like i said there's our access to my favorite section of the castle the west tower but we're going to go all the way down 
to the base here and this is going to lead us out the transfiguration courtyard so that would lead us to central hall which we will explore at the end of this video but uh, our quickest way to the next class is going to be tucking to our left past these cats i promise i've pet them in past videos but then into the transfiguration classroom uh, so this is film accurate we see this in specifically the the uh, sorcerer's stone movie it comes off of the courtyard here and the hallways out of the courtyard this is where mcgonagall teaches uh, in Harry's year, right now it's being taught by the deputy headmistress, Professor Weasley, obviously a descendant or relative, or excuse me, ancestor or relative of Ron. That's her at her desk right there. Uh, she is also in control of the house elves. You see uh, that one there cleaning her classroom. But then in the back here, she does have her office and bedroom space as well, or rather, just her office space. Her bedroom is elsewhere. Um, in fact, I believe it's at the top of the Headmaster's Tower, uh, which we have already checked out in a previous video. I can't remember uh, the order that I have placed these to release, but I think it is a past video, so go check out our Headmaster's Tower video where we, you can probably see Professor Weasley's bedroom there. Uh, next, we are going to go into the History of Magic section. This is right off of the Bell Towers. Uh, so you have two options. You can enter the main way or the back way. Let's enter the main way. Uh, so this is off of the bell towers, also off the transfiguration uh, courtyard. And taking a left here, this is the Muggle Studies classroom. Now I'm going to avoid that quest option at all costs, just so we don't get interrupted. This is History of Magic. Uh, in Harry's years, as well as the 1890 school year that we are taking place in this game, uh, it is taught by Professor Binns as a ghost. Professor Binns has in fact already died by the time of this game. And we are just missing one of these sheets of paper here. History of Magic Windows. So you see here, uh, there's a bunch of murals on the wall here. We have one of Merlin specifically. This one here is of the four founders. And this one on this side, uh, 1289. It's going to be, I believe, some magical pact. I, I'm going to have to actually look into 1289 in the Wizarding World saga just to see what took place during those years. Um, I, off the top of my head, can't name who was the King of England during 1289. Um, this back section here, there's Professor Binns right there just kind of wandering around. We explored in our last, or one of our last videos, uh, it's got this cool ancient Egypt section very much into this history you kind of see a motif of Stonehenge there, and then Professor Binns' office, which, why he needs an office, uh, I'm not entirely sure, because he is, in fact, a ghost. There's another cleaning house elf there. Next, we're going to move on to the Muggle Studies and Alchemy classrooms. So, the quickest way to do that is to go back through the main entrance of the History of Magic classroom, one last look here, and go back into the Bell Towers. Now, once you get to the bell tower staircase, you're going to go all the way to the bottom here to the bell tower dungeon. And this is going to lead down kind of a maze of staircases here. Uh, this is going to be in the direction of the dragon statue here. And if you keep going, you're going to have two classrooms, one on your left and one straight ahead before you continue on to kind of the... How would I describe it? The storage dungeons are back there, which if you want to check those out, I believe we have access to them in our level one locks video. Uh, this classroom here across kind of this pseudo drawbridge moat uh, is going to be the Muggle Studies classroom. You see like hot air balloons and early flying craft, just studies of Muggle objects here. Um, I can't remember who the professor is in this game or if it ever tells us who the Muggle Studies professor is in Hogwarts Legacy. During Harry's years, uh, more specifically towards the end of his years, it's taught by Charity Burbage. Uh, she is, of course, the witch that is killed at the beginning of Deathly Hallows. Uh, professor Quirrell, actually, before he met Voldemort, was the Muggle Studies professor at Hogwarts. This is, of course, prior to the 1991 school year. And then this one here... Uh, is the alchemy classroom. So similar to potions, not quite the same. I was trying to describe what alchemy is in comparison to potions to my wife the other night, and I was really struggling uh, to explain it. It's more of a, it's kind of a combination of transfiguration 
and potions, very much dealing with like elemental stuff, uh, transforming things into other things and, and creating substances that aren't actually there. Uh, it's kind of a rabbit hole if you really want to go down and figure out what alchemy actually is, but that's the classroom there. Then we work our way back up to where we came uh, into the bell towers and at the top of the bell towers, once we get there, is going to be the choir classroom, more specifically the frog choir classroom. So we'll take these stairs all the way up. Bear with me as we circle around this bell tower here. That back there is just storage, specifically statue storage. There's nothing major back there. It's kind of boring. It's it's just one of those. You open the lock thinking you're going to find something, and it's just chests. Uh, but you go through this door here, and this is the choir classroom. In the films, it's said, or, or it's kind of complicated if you know the history of them making the films, but we see for the first time in Prisoner of Azkaban that Flitwick uh, is actually the choir professor because... Uh, they added this character, played by Warwick Davis, who looks different from Professor Flitwick in the first two films. And then, of course, when they actually brought back Flitwick as a character, um, they changed the design to fit the choir director, also played by Warwick Davis. Um, so this is where the choir classroom is held, at the top of one of the bell towers. And we will then go back down to the bell towers and head outside to the care of magical creatures section. So back down this spiral staircase. And as soon as we get down to the bottom, we should be able to reach the this door, which leads out to the main bell tower landing. We've seen this before. This is the base of the bell towers here. It's decorated for Christmas right now, very nice. And we are going to go outside. Here you see kind of that main courtyard. And it's kind of a hike actually. There is a quicker way. The quickest way to the Care of Magical Creatures classroom is the West Tower, that area of the castle that I like um, a lot because of the, the tree motifs on the inside. But it's just as easy to go out the bell towers here and into the Care of Magical Creatures classroom. Now, in the game here, the classroom is attached to Hagrid's hut, or more specifically, the uh, the groundskeeper's, or the, the gamekeeper's hut. Now, this isn't necessarily the case in the films. Obviously, Hagrid does become the Care of Magical Creatures professor in third year, and he shares that with Professor Gr Grubbly Plank, uh, Gr excuse me, Grubbly Plank, uh, until Harry graduates kind of on and off every other year or so. Uh, a little more complicated than that. I'm simplifying. So it's assumed that when he was teaching, this would make sense. Uh, but given that this is the caretaker's house and not specifically the Care of Magical Creature professor's house. In fact, we do actually see the Care of Magical Creatures teacher bedroom in the faculty tower, which we'll explore more in depth in a later video. Um, we see that in the castle, so it's interesting that they would attach the classroom to Hagrid's hut here. This staircase leads us back into West Tower. That's, like I said, that area of the castle I like. We'll enter here just so we can walk through the castle. It is winter, so uh, we don't have to pretend to be cold for too long. Uh, these are those tree column motifs that I really like that I mentioned. Um, I like the tapestries as well. I like that this kind of feels like a forest within the castle. I really like that. And then we go through the pungent corridor, which I mentioned in a past video might be a reference to Fred and George making a swamp out of one of the hallways in uh, the Harry Potter books, more specifically Order of the Phoenix. I don't know if that's the case. There might actually be a better reason for it in the game. You have the option of using the bell tower entrance uh, or going into uh, the central hall by way of the Transfiguration Courtyard. If you were to enter, uh, if you were to enter from the bell towers, you'd enter from the other side. But we entered from this side, so we're going to take a right into the potions classroom. And the potions classroom, like I said, is immediately to the right of the Transfiguration Courtyard courtyard entrance. There's Peeves again, screwing around with um, Professor, don't tell me, don't tell me. 
I can never remember the potions mess or the, the potions professor in this game. I do apologize. Um, but this is the potions classroom. We see it really for the first time in its current form. Oh gosh, is it Goblet of Fire or is it later than that? I know for sure we have it by the sixth film. Um, pretty sure we see it in the fifth film. I can't remember if we do see it in the fourth film as well. But of course, Snape the potions professor until sixth year when he's taken over by Horace Slughorn. There isn't a classroom specifically down in this direction, but there is a what they call the dungeons classroom, um, or excuse me, the detention classroom. So uh, specifically, or I lied to you, that's going to be the dungeons. Ignore everything I just said. Sometimes I forget where I am. There is a dungeons, or excuse me, a detention classroom in the dungeons by the Slytherin common room, um, which isn't important for us to check out. It's really just an empty classroom where they hold detention. Going back out from where we entered, this was the the big doorway from the Transfiguration Courtyard. We're going to go up into Central Hall. Left, of course, are the entrances to the library. We are going to start by going all the way across Central Hall uh, to the opposite door, which is Herbology. Now, had we come from the Bell Towers, we would have entered from this left corridor here. This is, of course, the greenhouse. You can go either left or right. It's going to lead you to the same location at the base of this tree. You're going to enter and come across this kind of magical cherry tree. Now, we've been in here before. This is nothing new. Um, four different uh, greenhouses within one massive greenhouse. There's different kind of motifs to, I guess, the biomes of the different flowers here. This is very much a venomous tentacula section, so we'll collect all of the tentacula leaves that we can because, as Slughorn tells us, they are extremely valuable. Um, so this is kind of a venomous plant type motif, a lot of fungi, a lot of uh, mostly just poisonous plants here. And then in this direction, this is going to be the desert area. We see the dirigible plums, we see a lot of cacti, um, this definitely has an arid feel to it. And then we'll go back up here to more of these greenhouses on the other side. Um, and then on the far end, there is an aquatic greenhouse, kind of. Kind of. It's not really a greenhouse. It's just an aquatic tree. Uh, go check out our greenhouse video if you haven't seen it yet uh, and are curious what I'm talking about here. You can't collect this one. This is more of, of Professor Garlic's this Professor Garlic right there. My wife and I both agree that she is probably the most attractive professor in this game. So uh, if you're confused by my comments in the last Greenhouse video, that is Professor Garlic right there. Of course, during Harry's years, it is taught by Professor Sprout. Now this is going to be more of a garden type area. We see uh, squash and pumpkins and then this is going to be the kind of tropical or asian greenhouse here we see a lot of bamboo a lot of woody type plants and we will now leave the greenhouses and go up to the last two classrooms on our list uh, and that those are arithmancy and divination. Now the arithmancy classroom is kind of hard to find. Uh, you do have to do some puzzles to find it, but what we're going to do is go back up to Central Hall, and on the far end here is going to be the library, and we're going to go back up these staircases, past the paintings, all the way up to the viaduct landing. Of course, this door here leads out to the viaduct uh, and then into the hospitality section or the south section of the castle back over to the Great Hall. What we're going to want to do is go up this first flight of stairs here and then tuck around to kind of this upper area. Oh, ex or rather, excuse me. Uh, we got to go up one more set of stairs. I lied. It's not on the second level. It's on the third level here. So where you would go in the direction of the divination classroom. We'll get there at the end of this video here, but you want to get to the third level, which is kind of this um, wooden walkway scaffolding type section. You're definitely in the rafters of Central Hall here. And then tuck to your right, and there is going to be one of these puzzle areas here. This board, if you're unfamiliar with how these puzzles work, it's a massive math equation. This board kind of teaches you how to do that. 
Once you complete this one specifically, you're going to enter in and this will lead you to the arithmancy class. This is, this is kind of like magical math. And this is what the arithmancy classroom looks like. There's a ton of closets off to the side that will lead you to various chests and collectible items. Uh, but this is the classroom itself. Kind of dark, kind of dank, very much uh, numerologically based in its design. Then last but not least, the last classroom that we have access to in the game or rather the last classroom that appears in the game is going to be divination. Now, one class that doesn't exist in this game uh, is ancient runes. It's really the only classroom that doesn't exist. You think of things like xylomancy and like magical art. Those things are assumedly tied into their respective subjects. So xylomancy would be taught in the divination classroom because it's part of the divination, uh, kind of that family of subjects. Ancient Ruins doesn't exist in this game as a classroom. At least that I, like, I haven't found it, and I looked it up online. Nobody else seems to have found it as well, so either they left it out and are going to add it later as a DLC pack, or it just exists in a hidden section of the castle, or they just forgot to add it, assuming people didn't really care that much. I was under the assumption uh, with Professor Fig that that could be one of the classes he teaches before I looked it up on the wiki, and of course he does teach uh, magical theory. But Ancient Runes is the only class with a classroom that does not exist in this game. This is, of course, Divination. We see it for the first time in the Prisoner of Azkaban, both book and film, uh, seen as a third year collective or, or excuse me um a third year elective class rather uh taught by in this game professor onai and in harry's time professor trelawney and then for a brief time she is replaced by forens forense forensi i've always said forens i'm gonna stick with forens and i'm gonna steal that field guide page so those are all of the classrooms that we have access to in the harry potter game or rather the Hogwarts Legacy game. We are going to go back down here and finish up our day. We had a long day of classes, and just to finish out our day, why don't we circle back down to the bottom of this staircase here. We reach the top landing level of Central Hall. We go out the viaduct courtyard, it's 5 o'clock, 6 o'clock, I am done with classes, I am ready to end my night, but before I can do that, I gotta head to the Great Hall. Quickest way to the Great Hall, tuck to your right this set of staircases here. And then follow these staircases until you reach the entrance courtyard. Entrance courtyard, you find the main entrance to Hogwarts here, at least what I have always considered the main entrance to Hogwarts. This is the entrance hall. Uh, you have access to a storage closet on the left here, and you have the Slytherin dungeon entrance on the right. You go all the way to the top here through these doors. This is going to be the chamber that holds uh, all of the house points. To your right is going to be access to the grand staircase. If you take the right section and go downwards, you're going to hit the Hufflepuff common room. Left, uh, you have double options to either the Gryffindor Tower or the Ravenclaw Tower, or the Faculty Tower if you want to include that one too. Through here, you have an antechamber before you hit your final destination. Bum, bum, bum. Great hall decorated for Christmas. So that's all I got for you. That is all of the classrooms in Hogwarts Legacy. Uh, let me know what you thought of this video. Let me know if there's anything we haven't explored or discovered yet that you want to see in a future video. Uh, say that in the comments below. Like this video, share this video with your friends if you think they'd like it. But in the meantime, we'll see you very, very soon.